Out of this meeting, the Gwich'in Steering Committee was formed and the groundwork was laid for the now three-decade-long fight to protect the coastal plain of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. The Gwich'in come together every two years, rotating villages, to reaffirm their commitment to their position through a formal resolution. Since the first Gwich'in gathering, the Gwich'in have testified multiple times before Congress, the United Nations, and at other public hearings in support of protecting the Arctic Refuge and its coastal plain. The Arctic National Wildlife Refuge is deeply important to the Gwich'in way of life. Known in Gwich'in as Ijik Gwatsan Gwandai Gudlit, the sacred place where life begins. The coastal plain of the Arctic Refuge acts as the calving ground for the porcupine and caribou herd, a source of primary sustenance for the Gwich'in. The Gwich'in people are people of the land, and as residents of a region extending from northeast Alaska to the northern Yukon and northwestern territories of Canada for more than 20,000 years, it's safe to say that their knowledge of and connection to the refuge is strong. Today, approximately 9,000 Gwich'in people live in 15 small villages scattered across the northernmost parts of Alaska and Canada, making their home on or near the migratory route of the porcupine caribou herd. The gathering isn't just about protecting a place but also preserving a culture and the traditions that go with it. It is a time for family and friends to come together and to reinforce the idea that the Gwich'in and the refuge are inextricably entwined, making protecting the refuge not only an environmental issue, but one that is also very much a human rights issue. Yeah.